Hello folks, and in this week's video, I'm going to be cleaning my Fiesta, but not with my nice fancy stuff, with this. And take it right back to basics, and this was the cheapest car cleaning kit I could find, and we're going to be using it on my Fiesta today. So, what do you get in the kit? This is a Halfords cleaning kit, so you get a nice two and a half litres of car shampoo. You get an actual wash mitt, not a yellow sponge, an actual wash mitt that will trap the dirt in the fibres, which is good. You get a alloy wheel cleaner bottle, you get glass cleaner, a nice brush to get into the back of the alloys. Then you get this nice interior cleaner. Um, we'll not be using this today because we're just cleaning the outside. You also get a nice chamois, but we're not going to be using that. I'm going to be using my drying towel because I didn't want to use that on my car. I'll be honest, I'll be switching that out. And then a bucket to put the soap in. So with the cleaning kit, you may have noticed that there's no snow foam that comes with the kit. I'd usually be using my Starna Gloss snow foam. But today, we're just going to have to make do and make a snow foam out of the shampoo as well. <laughs> so I'm first going to start with a pre-rinse before I make a snow foam out of the shampoo. But here's how the car looks as well. So it's pretty manky with the weather recently. Um, uh, not nice like brake dust all over the wheels. Um, but aye, it is dirty like. So here we go. So the main goal for today is to see if you need all that fancy gear to clean your car or if you can spend a little less and get the same results. So let's get on with this. So we're all rinsed off, now it's time to make some snow foam out of the shampoo. So usually with snow foam there's a set mixture that you should use on the back, but with this it's shampoo so I'm just going to mix in as much as I want. <laughs> okay, let's get some of this in there. Right, quick smell test of the shampoo as well. Mm. Nice. I reckon what it's meant to smell like, but nice. It actually smells alright. Right, surprisingly that went on quite well. You can see it's quite watery uh, as it's running off so quick, but I don't know if it just works so well because I put about half the bottle of the shampoo in there, but still pretty decent. Now usually when I snow for my car, I go around it with one of these little detailing brushes into all the nooks and crannies, but this did not come in the kit, so we'll be chucking that. Only brush we got in the kit was for the wheels, so we're just gonna have to let the snow foam sit and drip off, and that's gonna be our cleaning. So that's the snow foam rinsed off and now it's time to clean the wheels but with the kit we actually got an alloy wheel cleaner so let's spray it on all four wheels and see how it works. Right here goes nothing, the Halfords alloy wheel cleaner. Nice fan pattern, nice spot as well, spray as well, get that right into the caliper as well. Spray loads on, let's see how it goes. Right, one wheel down. Next wheel. Next wheel. Now, the last wheel. We'll leave the wheel cleaner to sit for a bit, but now, let's get some shampoo mixed up for cleaning the wheels. 
I'm cheating a bit. I'm using a grit guard just because I want to be as safe as possible. It doesn't go right down to the bottom of this bucket. My usual one's bigger than this, but um, we'll make do with what we've got. And it's getting a bit cold outside to be using cold water in the bucket, so we'll get nice hot water for the house. So there we have some hot water. I'll get it foamed up there now with the pressure washer, but we'll rinse off the wheels first and see if this wheel clear has done anything. So I have one slight issue. I've got one wash mitt that came with the kit to do the whole car, which means I need to do the wheels with this as well. It's quite big and I'll get quite dirty doing the wheels and then doing the paint. So I'm going to need to rinse it off in between doing the wheels and paint, but we'll give it our best shot. One good thing though is that we've got the alloy wheel cleaner brush um, that'll get into the back of the barrels. It's not ideal because this is my normal one. I've got the Meguiar's one and this gets right into the back of the barrel and it's very soft as well. But we'll make do. I'm going to use the alloy wheel brush first and we'll get that into the barrel of the wheels. Oh, that's not ideal. That is not ideal. Like The handle's very short and very thick as well, so you're, you're hitting your hands with the alloy and it's not getting right to the back of the wheel. And these are quite thin wheels as well, compared to some other cars. But we'll keep going. So that's the wheel barrel clean. Now let's get on to this, washing the main spokes of the wheels. This is gonna take ages, especially with these wheels. And there we go, that's the first wheel done. Looks alright now, but we'll see what it's like at the end of the video, how it's turned out. So that's all four wheels cleaned using the same method. I'm going to give the wash mat a rinse out, we'll get a new bucket of water mixed, and then we'll get on to washing the body. That's my car all rinsed off after washing it and it's looking pretty good so far. I'm going to dry the car off now. The chamois is what came in the packet, but I've got a big drying tool here, so I'm going to use that. So folks, that is my Fiesta all clean and that is the detail in my car with the cheapest car cleaning kit challenge complete. But um, it actually looks all right. I'm very impressed with it.
Now, the car actually looks really good. Obviously, there's no tire shine around the tires. I'd usually use that because um, it just gives it that extra nice look. But that wasn't involved in the kit, so now we've got that. If you look closely into the calipers, you can still see there's some dirt in there. I never had any wee detailing brushes to get right in there. But actually, on the spokes of the wheels, it's pretty clean like. Um, I managed to get in there with a the wash mitt, but in the barrels, you can see just sort of at the, right around the edge, the back edge of the barrels, it's still dirty because the actual brush didn't get right to the back. But for the price, you really can't complain. That was £25 for that whole kit. You get a bucket and everything. A few things I would recommend getting though, if you are thinking about getting that, is a different wheel barrel brush, maybe a smaller wash mitt to get right into the wee gaps. A wee set of detailing brushes to get around the windows and on any wee gaps around the body and then maybe a wee tyre gel or something just to go around the tyres to give it that final look. Oh, and a drying tool, a drying tool. I don't think the Shamwa is going to cut it, but um, aye. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed. Please like this video, comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new or you're watching my videos and you're not subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.